Are you looking for a powerful black hero to add to your deck? Would you like to easily collect the bounty set on your enemies? If so, then Mortred, the Phantom Assassin, might be the hero for you. The pride and joy of the Sisters of the Veil acquires her marks through the use of meditation and psychic revelations. Whether it's a king or a peasant, there is no recognizable pattern to her victims. If you stand in her way, you could just as well end up being the next honorable sacrifice for her order. I'm here to blur the line between life and death. Hey guys, it's Nikita with Action Esports, and today we're bringing you another episode of our Card Spotlight series, where we feature in detail specific cards throughout Artifact. In today's video, we will be covering the Black Hero, Phantom Assassin. We will look at her lore, as well as her stats and abilities. Mortred is part of the Sisters of the Veil, an elite group of assassins. The sisters select children to be a part of their order through a process of divination. Assassination is a secret part of their order, and the targets are chosen through meditation and oracular utterances. Do not confuse them with mercenaries, however, for they do not care for any political or monetary gain. One of her notable stories was in the second Dota 2 comic released on November 2014. That day, Mortred had only one name on the list, Nerif the Oracle. When she finally met the Oracle, she was surprised to find out that he foresaw his assassination and was expecting her. The Oracle tells Mortred that he can provide her with the knowledge she seeks, the knowledge of why she does what she does, and the impact she has had on the world. He promises to provide this knowledge only under the condition that she assassinates every single one who tries to kill him. To ensure that she has no trouble doing her job, the Oracle gives Mortred a weapon known as the Manifold Paradox and sets her on her way, providing a list of targets that are his enemies. Phantom Assassin has 6 attack and 8 health. Her 6 attack allows her to take care of most targets with as few as 1 or 2 attacks, enabling you to eliminate most threats quickly and give you control of the board. Her 8 health, while not as high as some of the red and green heroes, ensures she can stay on the board and sustain some of the damage she takes when fighting other enemies. Phantom Assassin's passive ability and artifact is a continuous effect called Efficient Killer, which provides her plus 4 attack when attacking an enemy hero. This ability ties in extremely well with her lore as an assassin honing in on someone, and makes her attacks even more powerful, since only a hero with a combined health and armor set of 11 or more can survive. Protecting your Phantom Assassin could easily lead you to victory, as there are very few heroes that can fight her as equals. Phantom Assassin's signature card is Coup de Grasse, which also happens to be one of her abilities in Dota 2. While it is noticeably different in Artifact, it is nevertheless a very important aspect of her playstyle. Coup de Grasse is a 6 mana spell that allows you to condemn a hero at the cost of discarding a random card. While 6 mana is a lot to spend on one card, the power to condemn any hero, allied, or enemy is game changing and can easily turn the game in your favor. Discarding a card is nothing to look past though, and keep this in mind, make sure your hand is either empty or full of cards that you would be okay with discarding. Coup de Grasse is 1 mana cheaper than the hero's sniper signature card Assassinate, which deals 10 piercing damage to a unit in any lane. While Assassinate can target non-heroes, it does have a cap on how much damage it can do, while Coup de Grasse does not. Coup de Grasse's biggest strength comes in the fact that it can penetrate damage immunity, which would normally block spells like Assassinate. This makes Coup de Grasse the premier card to take care of hard to kill enemies. Mortred is also great to start the game with, especially if you're playing with Bounty Hunter that has the similar characteristics of gaining plus 4 attack 50% of the time at any given a turn. His signature card, Track, gives a hero plus 10 bounty. Together, these two heroes and their signature cards can kill multiple heroes efficiently, and rack up a serious amount of gold to buy expensive items before your opponent can. A match made in heaven? Perhaps. It is no wonder why they are included in Stan Sivka's Black Red deck, possibly one of the strongest closed beta decks right now. Phantom Assassin is a clear, meta-defining card and will be featured in many decks on release, partially thanks to its common rarity. It will be interesting to see how players will structure decks around Phantom Assassin and how they will play around her. But right now, Phantom Assassin is definitely a top tier hero. That concludes our spotlight on Phantom Assassin. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let us know in the comments which hero you want to see in the spotlight next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on our future videos, including any future episodes of the Card Spotlight series. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.